This is 13 ABC Action News with Diane Larson and Lee Conklin. From serving their country to servicing power lines, a local electric company is giving veterans first crack at a new career. 13 ABC's Jack Bassett was at North Central Electric in Attica to see how servicemen and women are serving the community in a new way. For U.S. Air Force veteran Matt Fiesel, his current job as an electrical line foreman is a lot like his time in military service. There's a uniform, there's hard work, and there's pride in what he does. In the military, you're given specific tasks. You work in a group as a team to accomplish the task. Everybody does different things to get, and that's the same way you do line worker. During Matt's campaign, he was a communications lineman. At the end of his tour three decades ago, he came home with the hopes of applying his skills to a job here in the States. The military trains you very well. I mean, for a lot of different aspects in life, not just work, but a lot of it translates into the workforce. Matt's not the only vet on the job with North Central Electric in Attica. The power company is a part of a nationwide campaign with electric co-ops focused on hiring veterans. We always, always keep service in the top of mind for everything we do. And after all, the military is called the armed services. So it translates perfectly um, to bring a veteran in as a, uh, an employee of an electric cooperative. Vets Power Us is the group behind the campaign, a coalition of over 800 co-ops across the country pursuing military service members like Matt. As far as I'm concerned, veterans should get more help than what they get. Veterans are a, a specific breed that could translate into any occupation. Jack Bassett, 13ABC, Action News.